Today I'd like to talk about this app that's on the Android market called LockerBot, which you can put, change your lock screens and use different lock screens from other types of Android phones. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I'm using the HTC Evo 4G. I just got the extended battery on there. Okay. Turn it on. As you can see, this is one of the lock screens. It's nice. And this is what you have to do. You go to the Android Market. Type in. Oh, by the way, my phone is not rooted at all. You type in LockerBot. Okay, as you can see, it's right there. There's a free version and a paid version. The free version, I think, only allows you to use a few themes or maybe even one theme. And the LockerBot Pro, which I bought, is $3.49. And it allows you to use all, all the themes. Hold on, let me show you. As you can see, you got iPhone, iPhone themes. Um, you have the hero. The eclair. And a lot, of, I really like the way these look. You got the Froyo. And let's see. It says X10. I like the slide up, it's nice. You got Galaxy. And you got Honeycomb. Which is what I have right now. This one right here. All you do is click it. Okay. Cancel that. Alright, let me go back. And as you can see right here, it's theme gallery, my themes, and new theme. New theme is where you take the custom lock screen and I and I'm pretty sure you put it to the way you want to do it by clicking up here by customizing it the way you want. Style, the clock, the background, the sound. And then you just click save. Let me go back. The themes I have right now are one of the X10, which I'm about to preview. And it's where you slide this little triangle to the triangle where it meets and it opens. And here's another honeycomb wallpaper. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's like the one I have right now, which I'm using this one. And I don't need this, so I'm gonna delete it. If you don't want it, you just delete it, and there you go. You could customize them with different wallpapers. Okay, and there you go. And if you're wondering why my HTC Evo looks like this and it's not rooted, I'll let you know right now. You go to the Android market, you click on Go Launcher. You're going to click Go Launcher EX, which is the base for changing the themes and the style 
of your your basically your HTC scents, but this is a different type of scents. Um, as you can see, this is the one I have right here, Honeycomb Launcher. You download it, and this is how you, how mine's look. Before I finish going through that, these widgets are the widgets that come with the theme which you change like this you, you hold it then you click replace click theme icons these are for the bottom area i'll show you in a minute you click up here and then i don't know if you can see that oh honeycomb theme and you pick through the widgets to replace the widget the original widget which is this is my td bank I replaced it with um, the clock. I don't know. Just decided to do that. But it's really nice, very smooth, and um, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, let's see. Let me go back to Android Market. They have widgets. They have widgets for the sense. Um, they have an SMS, which I'll show you right now, which is similar to Handsend. I don't know if anybody uses that, but I love it, which I'll show you that in a minute. Let me go back. Okay. They have other themes. Here, if you, let me show you. If you hold the screen, this will pop up. And you got applications you can add, a shortcut, a widget. You could add a Go widget, a new folder, or a wallpaper. But, oh, yeah, as I was saying before, sorry. Um, You could change these icons. They have a few more other icons. And then you add whatever you want to add to the bottom. Right now, I have phone, contacts, um, settings, um handy scent I mean hand scent sorry and internet oops let me go back and this is handset by the way not sure if you used it and I'll open up one there you go pretty nice Let me see. All right. Um, here we go. Whoops. I keep doing that. If you want to go to, you go to settings, you click menu, and this is what it'll look like. You got your wallpaper, your themes, the go store, more settings, preferences, which I'll click preferences is like your screen settings. You can back up, advanced settings, operation, effects. Um, this is all what you can do to change the sense that it's you're using. Um, you got wallpaper, which you can click from HEC wallpapers, live wallpapers, go wallpaper, or your photo gallery. You have themes, which I'll click on. These are themes you can download and you could also go to the store the ghost store and click on it this is the only thing i got right now so some of them you will have to pay for which i think a few of these are or ones you have to pay for and some of them are free this is the ghost store you could click message widgets themes um a lot of things, um, clocks, you got apps, I really like it, it's really good, for not even being rooted, it's pretty good, well this is what I'm going to have to use for right now since there's no um, root yet as for 2.3.3, um, um, let's see, you can edit, you can add minus screens if you only want one home screen. Um, let's see. You got your settings, which leads you to the, your normal settings for um, 
HTC. Um, you got more, which is share notifications. You could write feedback on the lock screen. Wallpaper. Oh, I think I just showed you that. And yeah, that's basically it. That's my review on the locker bot as well as go launcher and I think that was it yeah <laughs> all right thank you for viewing my video and have a good day